Hello, beautiful souls. All right, I just got back from taking a walk with my Trixie. And uh, man, things are starting to ramp up energetically. And I know I'm feeling, oh, big, big body chill, full body chills. Okay, so I'm feeling like this is going to be around for at least the next Trixie for at least the next five days and so a lot of us are going to be going inward and if we decide not to do that things are going to get real interesting this is a chance much like a new moon for an entire new beginning So what I'm feeling for myself, besides having like a bomb dropped on my <laughs> life the other day, huh. um, but what I'm noticing is this renewed sense of willpower. And that as, we, as we're getting clarity, we are able to make shifts in our lives that are important for us to take good care of ourselves. So like for example, I'm on two days of no smoking. I mean, at all. You know, I was down to like one or two a day. That had been a long haul of going, getting down to that. And so now, I mean, one a day, it's not an addiction. I mean, it's an addiction to the ritual of it, but not of the nicotine. Do you know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> there's lots of different ways that we are making new choices and changing paradigms. The other thing is that I know I've been led to get out and move my body and I've been resistant, resistant. Well, I got out and did it. And it, it feels like there is a shift in knowing that I'm worth it. And you don't always have to love it, but you do know what's good for you. <laughs> Guy, right? And so it's almost as if this energy is a tiny little, of a, little bit of a wind into your sails to be able to do those things that you know are good for you to get you on the roll of developing a new routine a new pattern which you know what a pattern is a new pattern is an entire new paradigm and remember every time that you choose differently one time right you can exponentially change down the road Yeah, we are releasing so much right now that is not in our best and highest good, that is not in our in our well-being that we've been holding on to. And as all the illusion, what we have believed, those false beliefs, those narratives that we were clinging on to, as those fall away, we realize that, yeah, we are worthy. We are valuable. We start to really tune in to our value. And in doing that, we start to treat ourselves better. <laughs> right? No reason to punish yourself. Everything here was for your experience anyway. What'd you learn? That's what we should be spending our time doing this week. Going in within and being like, well, what did I learn? And how can I use what I learned and the blessings, the gifting that came from what happened to me? How can I use that to help others? In what way? Can I use that for others to benefit too? 
That's the big shift. Not pouring from an empty cup, that's martyrdom. But it is taking the experience, shifting it, getting the blessing out of it, going into the gratitude, and then being able to help other people do the same thing. Eee, it's exciting. So getting outside in some fresh air will be very helpful over the next five days. Still, so will um, staying hydrated. Dehydration causes a lot of problems, but with uh, the solar storms and solar weather coming in, the galactic weather, we are, we're going to be processing a lot of energy. And for those of us that are super highly sensitive, start hydrating, man. <laughs> what? I thought I saw that the CME is supposed to hit on the 11th so get hydrated now some of you might feel like eating light not super heavy food I know I took my son out to dinner and <clears throat> we had a great dinner whoa was it rich and I was like what I shouldn't have done that so consider eating light Light food, I'm not I'm not saying do vegetarian, you do you on that whole thing, but <clears throat> really fatty food probably isn't gonna feel really good. Lots of fruit, lots of vegetables, soups. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing. So I made a deal. I'm going to move my body every day for the next five days. <laughs> and then I'll renew the deal. That's how I work. And then my deal is just not to, not to smoke. We will see. I can't remember. I have a lot of hours in. I started, I'm like, okay, well, I'll just look at that number of hours that it's been. It was a lot. I'm like, come on, just keep going. I'm worthy. And I'm worthy especially just of kicking the habit of it. Having a cigarette every once in a while is not a big deal to me. None of it is. Having a drink every once in a while, whatever. But the habit of it, the attachment of it, that's what bothers me. Get rid of it. I don't need it. That's what I'm realizing through this. I don't need a lot of things. I think a lot of us are going to be coming to that conclusion over the next several months. Feels like there's a lot of excess. A lot more than I need. That has, you know, just I have in my life. And here's the thing is that, what do they say? Medicine becomes poison if, if there's too much of it. Any medicine becomes poison if there's too much of it. It's very similar in that a lot of us are distracted because of the societal programming expectation that maybe maybe we undertook when we were not fully awake, but we're still perpetuating. It's like me. I have a beautiful house. It's big. It's a lot. It's a lot to take care of. It's a lot to clean. It's a lot to financially maintain. So I feel like a lot of us are going to be coming around to this realization 
that maybe we don't need everything that we are consuming right now. Maybe it's time to reduce, reduce our liability, but also reduce our footprint. We don't need all this stuff to, to make us happy. I think we're, we're beginning through this process to realize how very little we need to be happy. And so all the rest at some point just becomes noise and distraction. So anyway, that's what I've been working through. Yep, I also feel like there's going to be renewed sense, an, a, a renewed sense of clarity having to do with that downsizing of how we want to spend our time. And it has to do with work, it has to do with everything. Feeling like don't make any big decisions right now. We're, we have a lot of internal work that we're going to be doing over at least the next five days. <clears throat> I felt really until the end of the year. Until we get all the twos coming in for the two zero two two. Anyway, just wanted to share a little bit about what I've been going through. And uh, that's about it. I hope you guys are doing good. I love you guys. Bye.